<laughs> but angry people, because of a big ego they have and the unwillingness to face themselves, do consider themselves as being nice people. And in most cases, they're some of the worst of the worst because they are only nice if you're nice back at them. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> so the niceness is not a real niceness. Oh. It's a selfish niceness. Somebody mentioned that too. You're being, yeah. You're only being nice because you want it back. If you had real love, you would give love without expecting anything in return. Mm -hmm. So you don't have love. You have anger in your heart. Mm -hmm. And so instead of being mad at you, you should be grateful to be in that environment. And then start looking at yourself so that you can see, wow, I need these people to validate me. I need them to validate my work. Your work is good because you know that you, you, you do well and your customers are coming back. And they're referring people. You don't need anyone else to validate that. So what do you do? Go in Monday, Tuesday morning, give them a big hug and a kiss and thank them for being there? No, what you do is go into yourself mm -hmm. and, and, and overcome this hatred that you have in your heart. Mm -hmm. You got to start working on yourself first. And then you will see the right way to deal with these people. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that is at this point. Yeah. Because once you wake up from this hatred mm -hmm. that you have, then you'll see the right way to deal with them. It may be to leave or it may be to stay, mm -hmm. but you will see the right way. But right now you can't see it because your anger is blocking it. Yeah. It is separating you from truth. Yeah. And so you got, your father still living? No. He's gone. Um, you got to realize, you know how sometimes you do things that you don't want to do? Mm -hmm. And you say, well, I can't believe I did that. I would never do it again. You realize it was wrong. Yeah. And you don't want anyone to hate you for that, right? Because it was something you couldn't help. It's like something else was driving you. Well, your father had that same spirit in him. And that's where you get it from because you become like what you hate. You take on the identity, the spiritual identity of the person you hate. And you lose your identity and now you're acting like the people that, or person that you hate. Yeah, I act just like him. Yeah. And he couldn't help himself just like you can't help yourself. So if you can find it in your heart by realizing that to forgive him, then God will forgive you and he would take that anger away from you, then you can live your life. You start to see life in a different way, and you will see how to handle every situation in life. You don't have to pre-plan for it. You will be able to see how to do it as it is happening. But you're not going to be able to do that until you can forgive your father mm -hmm. and then forgive yourself too in case you're, you, know, you resent yourself for being that way. Now, since you can't see God, you can only read him in that book. Is that what you mean? No, well, when you forgive your father and others, mm -hmm. then you will see God. Mm -hmm. The only reason you can't see him now, and most people don't, because they have that resentment in their hearts, and they are separated from seeing him. Mm -hmm. But once you forgive, you, you, even if you never read the book, you don't have to read a Bible to see God. Mm -hmm. He's already inside of you, but you're disconnected from the light, controlled by the darkness of your anger your resentment for your father, now for these people at work, and for other people along the way in life. You're just judging and overreacting, judging and overreacting, being separated from truth within. It's got to be because you can't have uh, such anger towards so many people and you're just the perfect one. That's right. There's got to be, a, there's an issue. Absolutely. It's all with you, it's not with the people. Mm -hmm. Yes, the people have their issues, but if you had perfect love, you would not react to other people's issues. Mm -hmm. You would have, the, as someone mentioned the kind words, you would have the right words to say to them. Even in that family of doctors that you're working for, one of them would hear you, see your heart, and you can help that person. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to help the whole family, but at least that one, that son probably needs your help. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's not happy with the way his parents are treating him. No. But he doesn't know how to deal with them either because he's angry. Now see, how can I believe in this, when these people go to church on Sundays, they're fundamental Baptists. Some, and well, that's where the devil is located. The hypocrites. <laughs> the, the devil the is in the church. <laughs> if you want to find the devil right away, right go to church. Uh -huh. Yeah. But see, you're not in a position to judge them. Uh -huh. You're judging them because they go to church, they pretend to be right, yet you see what they really are. Mm -hmm. But you're not seeing yourself as you are. You're as bad or worse as they are, and you don't go to church, but you're still doing the same thing. You're judging them as they're judging you. Nobody has love in this situation, so the situation cannot change 
because there is no light, no love in the situation. So how do I change? Uh, you have to sit quietly. Uh, Keller mentioned the meditation. You need to sit quietly so you can start seeing you and just observe how wicked you really are in heart mm -hmm. so that, and don't hate what you see and it'll change by itself. Mm -hmm. You have to surrender, let go, mm -hmm. so that God, you have to come out of denial, denial about who you really are mm -hmm. and then he'll change it because it's a spirit that's made a home inside of you mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to see it. And so you need to learn to, when you pray, be still so the truth can catch up with you. Mm -hmm. And see the reality of what's really in your heart, and it will change by itself. It really will. But you, you don't sit still long enough to do that. You're constantly overreacting to your environment, blaming everybody else for your issues. So you don't sit quiet so you can overcome it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's all you got to do. And you're very honest about what's going on inside. Absolutely. I'm, I'm willing to give all of me to, uh, to the truth of what's going on. Yes. And that's the beginning of your salvation. Mm -hmm. It's all inside of you. It's not, the world is what it is. The world is evil. Mm -hmm. And the people who live amongst the world, most of them are evil. Mm -hmm. But there are those like you who see that, but don't quite understand how to overcome it. They know something is wrong. And the way you're doing it, it's not working. Mm -hmm. But you would like to find it. It's so easy for you to sit still and overcome it just like that. And so before you leave, take one of my prayer CDs. You can have it mm -hmm. and start doing it. Just sit quietly and watching how you feel. And so when you go back to work, you'll be able to be honest with your boss and the workers, but not hate them for what they are because you would now understand how you are and you don't want anyone to hate you because, you know, it happened to you when you were a little kid. Mm -hmm. You were subject to the authority around you and you don't want to be hated for something that you have no control over. Yeah. You want someone to show you how to overcome it. I grew up with no love, no trust. Right. And uh, very poor parenting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Most people growing up like that. <clears throat> Most children of all races, both male and female. And, but it's got to start with us. We see that. Like you see that now. Once you overcome it. I don't know if you're married or not to have children. 30 years married, no children. No children. And so if you have children, you won't pass that identity on to them mm -hmm. because it, this spirit is being passed on from parents to That's children, right. from That's children. That's why I didn't have them. Yeah. See there? I knew it was a conveyor belt. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now you can have children once you drop this anger and you will, not, you will have love to pass on instead of the spirit of wickedness. Yeah. And, and then you shall know God. Hmm. And the only thing that the Bible does, the Bible is like a road map. Mm -hmm. It tells us what we should be, what we can be, and what we should do. But it tells us to look inside to get that. The kingdom of heaven is within us. So he tells us to be still and know that kingdom. Mm -hmm. And he said that before you enter into that kingdom, which is love, that you need to forgive. And don't ask people to forgive you. You forgive them, and God will forgive you. Yeah, I'm not going to ask them anything. Right, because most people won't forgive because they love to have, they see that as a weakness mm -hmm. and they'll use it against you. Oh, yeah. That's why God has it set up the other way. As we forgive, he'll forgive us. Mm -hmm. And you'll be on your way. And then you may be able to walk away from that job. Mm -hmm. But if you have this love, once you come into this love that I'm telling you about, you may be, end up taking over the job mm -hmm. because they'll have so, they can develop love and respect for you the real love inside of you can cause them to feel guilty about what they are and they'll try to please you and turn the business over to you mm. out of guilt because they can't judge you anymore you're giving love now instead of niceness which is hatred mm -hmm. okay. did that help? that helped yeah that's all it takes isn't that so easy and simple? that's all it is but mm -hmm. the ego won't let you make life simple no and, and it wants you to continue on that path. Yes. It loves it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is the nature of the devil. Mm -hmm. That's the nature of the prince of darkness, and it's all hatred. So people that really follow that book and wear the cross on their neck and... Run away from them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they wear that cross, <laughs> and they're carrying that Bible under their arm, I would go the other direction. Yeah, because they've done... Total opposite of what that all... Yes. But they can't help it, though, because they, too, are looking for what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. 